Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. In a very quick second, I'm going to press play on this video. There's no audio, by the way. But before I do, I'll just give you a bit of a heads up as to what we'll be watching. We're going to be watching an incident that happened Friday evening in Australia. The Northern Territory, one of the states in Australia. Darwin, the uh, capital city of the Northern Territory. Outside of a hotel, motel, this place here... And it's an incident, as I say, that happened on Friday evening. We will watch it in a second. But essentially, we're going to watch the driver of this vehicle here, which is called a ute, a utility vehicle. You perhaps might consider that a pickup truck or whatever it is that you would call that in America. But it's called a ute over here in Australia. And this lunatic drives the wrong way um, up a carriage highway drives the wrong way up a carriage highway and then purposefully drives towards one guy in particular there's a group of guys at least four and he targets one guy in particular um, he misses the guy he backs up and then he tries again he hits the guy so i will let you know that there's no significant injuries the guy is effectively unharmed as far as we're aware and that's pretty much all that we know. We're not told of any arrests or anything like that. Um, but we do see a police vehicle. But uh, we're not told of the results of the police chase. So here it is. This guy, I mean, just starting off wild as fuck. Look, there are at least four guys here. And they do seem to be throwing things at the ute. Rocks, perhaps, would be my guess. So there always is a backstory, isn't there? There's always perhaps at least two sides to every story maybe the ute driver was provoked maybe he didn't want to have rocks thrown at him or her but even so would that justify driving your two-ton three-ton vehicle head on towards somebody i would have thought not so as we see there's the police car and the guy drives off and um i'm wondering if they got away with it uh because as I say, the article is not telling us of any arrests. They ought to have been able to make an arrest. Come on, guys. What are you doing, police? You're in your big, fancy, fast car. And you can't even track down a fucking you. What's wrong with you? Um, so, yeah, here's the incident. He's uh, driving around like a maniac. I mean, to be fair, the other guys are throwing rocks at him. But uh, he's not in danger. This uh, he, he doesn't have a self-defense uh, case here he could have driven off he did drive off but he decided to come back um, and again we saw that guy being hit and dragged for quite a few feet but uh, seemingly there's no significant injuries which of course is a blessing i mean this guy's an absolute fucking lunatic is this what normally happens in australia uh, no, not really. And as far as I'm aware, I could be completely wrong on this, but Darwin has pretty low crime rates as far as I'm aware. I've been to Darwin for a short holiday. It was very nice. Um, I'm going to wrap things up here at this uh, point, guys. We'll just watch it for the last time right here. Uh, if you do like this type of content, please do like, comment, subscribe, take care. And uh, if I come across any other similar incidences of absolute fucking lunatics hooning around on the Australian streets. I'll be sure to make another video, thanks.